Hi, my name's John, and I want to thank you for joining me right now for this video. Uh, during this video, we're going to talk about an exciting feature that I really like a lot. It's called Auto Notching. It's an exclusive TCS feature, and you're going to like it a lot too. Um, what it is, what Auto Notching is, is when the uh, decoder in the locomotive goes around the track, and uh, it's going uphill or it's going downhill or it's on the level, the decoder is going to select the notch according to the load. So if you're going uphill, obviously it's going to be working harder. It's going to notch it up automatically. Going downhill, it's most likely going to go right into idle or on a level. It might be notch two or three, depending on how many cars you have. It's totally automatic. Again, it's an exclusive feature of TCS. And uh, the other thing I want to tell you about this is how we calibrate it. There's a calibration procedure. It's simple. It's done in audio assist, and we'll review that too. Um, so to get started with it, why don't, we're just going to demonstrate. We'll run the train around the track. Notice as it goes around, we're not changing the throttle. I'm not going manually increasing the speed or lowering the speed. The sounds that you hear of it notching up and down is all done by the decoder automatically. So let's take a look. That wasn't that cool. I think you're going to like that. Uh, but what's important now is to calibrate it so you get the maximum uh, performance out of the auto notching. And that's really easy to do. We're going to show you now how to do that using audio assist. 
All right, we're about to start the calibration of the auto notching. It's real simple, uh, done with audio assist. Button three. Use button four. Use button one to do speed matching. Use button two to calibrate your locomotive for prototype throttle operation. Now that's what we want to do, calibrate. Use nine, so we use button two. To turn to the previous. Calibrating is a two step process. At any time, you may use button nine to return to the previous menu or press zero to exit audio assist. To get started, Run the locomotive on a straight and level piece of track at about speed step 15 of 128 without any cars attached. When you are ready, press button 1. Alright, we're going to get her up to speed step 15. And now we're going to calibrate by pushing button 1. Calibra calibrating, please wait. Calibrating, please wait. Step Run the locomotive in next, condition. We're going to calibrate it going up this grade right over here. When the locomotive is ready, press button two. I'll wait till she gets about halfway up the grade. We'll hit button two then. And that'll calibrate the second run the locomotive in a notch eight. The second place. Now we're calibrated. It's just that easy using audio assist. So wasn't that cool? I love it. You're going to love it too. Uh, one other thing to note about this is you still have manual notching. You can use manual notching to increase or decrease the actual set point that the decoder's doing. So you have a lot of flexibility in there too. But the auto notching just makes it so much fun to operate. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Glad you could be here. And uh, hey, don't forget to visit our website, sign up for our email newsletter, and uh, you'll be up to date on all the new things that we're coming out with.